It's starting. Good evening, campers, and welcome back to Stellaris. I'm Commander Exorcist, and this is part two of the Seabic Anomaly. When we last left our growing empire, we had just discovered our first habitable world, and unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's a good option for generators, so we're going to start by creating our first industrial planet. So, But we have an opportunity here um, in the Fulbadon system <laughs> to uh, get another planet. So one of these is, is continental. We've got one desert and one continental. Which has nice generator, but oh, it really has some nice industrial <laughs> district options. So how many can it hold? 18? Okay, so that's good. So we can fill it up with the generators, and then we can work on other things. So let's add generators here. And I am not going to be building um, farms. <laughs> We're not building farms. Actually, let's go ahead and start tearing this stuff down because we can afford it. Um... Maybe no farms, because we're going to be building um, hydroponics bays on the uh, on the star bases as we build them. So, uh, Farron Kalizam is our head of research, so he's actually researching the Tianki corpses that are orbiting the planet. So, let's see what we got here. Anomaly. Okay, so this is we want the scholar, because he's researching anomalies, so we want the bonus for that. Um, it looks like we've already lost this system to Toxoids. Okay. So we've lost that system already to Toxoids. So we're obviously not going to be moving out to Drakbok. At least not to... Uh, not peacefully. <laughs> anyway. Um, see here. We've got a pre-FTL civilization here. So they are in the Iron Age... Their planet's not too appealing, so not really interested. It's a savanna world, so it's not really something that we, as uh, Cebic, really have to... Uh, it's not something we would really want to go for. So, um, so yeah, we do have one planet that's it's a desert world. Research complete. And as we grow and we start to get diplomacy and we start including new people in our empire... We uh, we might be able to colonize some of these worlds because once we start integrating other species that may have a better tolerance of that environment, um, we may be able to take advantage of that. So, but we'll have to wait and see on down the road. How are we looking on our colony ship? I forgot to speed up the clock. <laughs> there we go. Now we're running at normal speed, or at least. Fast speed, which is our new normal. A couple of small changes. Blocker to the, cleared. To the layout here. Research complete. Okay. What did we research? Blue lasers. Okay. Um. I don't know. Let's go with survey speed for now, because now that we're running into other races out here. We are really in a race against time uh, to colonize worlds, collect star systems. Where are you going? Oh, never mind. Locker that cleared. <laughs> Ooh, they do not look friendly. The Beth aliens. I wonder if that's our tox. Is that our toxoid friends? Yeah, that's our. Okay, they look like toxoids. Okay. Cleared. So, reach for the stars. Oh, our empire home world already has. A new home. Okay. So we already are down to. What else can we put down here? So, oh, we've got generator. We got. 
We got a couple of people that are unemployed, so let's build a generator and a mining district. That way we can give them a little more employment into the uh, into the lower tier here to our our workers. After playing around with this a little bit, it's actually not that bad. The problem is when we get to kind of our capacity where we've built everything and we have unemployment and nowhere to put people. <laughs> so that's where things get a little challenging. Wow, we've already filled up that space. So good grief. Once we get this uh, new planet online, which we need to colonize this new world. Okay. And we're going to build new star bases in each one of our new systems. Here we go. And I think we've got enough research complete to actually max out our Digging. We've got research to do. Let's go with the Ceramo. Yeah, it'll be a moment, I think, because... Are we building something? Yeah, we're building a colony ship, so that makes sense. All right. So, we are colonizing uh, Limsa which is going to be our Forge World. So it's going to be our first Forge World of the Sebic Anomaly. And when will that be done? 2220. Okay, so about seven months we'll have that done. Right there. Looks like we've got another red planet there, so we won't be colonizing that one. And... Oh, our first Warden is waiting to be assigned. So... Let's assign him. Oh, we'll assign him to uh, to this planet when it's done. They can talk, and they want oh, to the talk Parian to us. Oh, the Parian Star State. Well, hello, everyone. Okay, they are wary. Let's build relationship with them. All right, and our star base here. So, um, we're gonna build hydroponics bays first off. That's how we're going to get our food, at least initially. Um, we're going to build a shipyard, trade hub. And shipyard and trade hub. Like I said, we're not really, um, we're not going insanely powerful here. We're trying to do a balanced playthrough. So a mixture of our defenses and trade. Diplomatic New value. Frontiers established. Limsa Colony has been founded. Excellent. So this is going to be a forge Research world. Complete. And we'll start with alloy foundries and an industrial district. We've got our energy siphon. All right, so we'll go with the xenolinguistics. That will um, hopefully activate the Paragons DLC, which rarely ever happens for me. So, um, oh yeah, so we've got our our designated empire capital here and we've got our forge world here so just waiting on the first buildings for our new colony to be uh, laid down we've got our colony ship on its way Founding to hold on nice so we went from no planets to to two new ones uh oh so our Minister of State was uh, elected as the new doci. Um, Tolomi Fema. Um, planetary build speed. Oh, I don't know if I want you on the council, buddy. And what is he doing? Is he doing nothing? Hold on a second. What are you doing, man? Council agenda ready. All right, so I thought I was paused, but hold on a second. So we're going to fire him. Sorry, man. We'll fire you. All right, and so... 
see who we got to hire. Trade value. All right. Let's go with the younger guy for trade value. And then let's activate. Hmm. Let's go with Evolving Society to get us a little bit more unity so we can continue pushing for more uh, more perks. And then, yeah, so we're colonizing that. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Do we have anybody that's available? Yep. Okay, so that was the one I wanted to put there. And then you're going to go here. So that will give us a little bit of a boost in our minerals production uh, from our empire capital. So that'll be good. That's good. All right, so we've found another world. That's a continental world. Okay. Nice. Wow, it's out here on the fringes, too. Like, <laughs> out on the edge. And I'm wondering if the Parian Star State owns, like, a lot of this territory. Hey, they got a National Scar, too. Like, if they own a lot of this territory here, we may be boxed in here on the end. Which is fine. We don't need a lot of territory to get started. The aspirations of the Civic are unknown at this point. We'll have to wait and see if they reveal the truth of their desires for the galaxy to everyone. What do we got going on here? Situation log updated. Oh, we've got an asteroid on the way. Ah. Oh, and it's close too. I don't know if we're going to make it or not. Of course, there's always some kind of incident going on whenever we're trying to uh, <laughs> go and rescue somebody. Research complete. See? Research is completed. Survey speed. We're going to unlock... Let's unlock fusion reactor. See where that goes. We are on our way. We just keep getting too many pop-ups. <laughs> We're coming to rescue our colony. The first action, uh, and see, we got something else here. First action of our military. Battle commenced. New frontiers established. All right, so we've got. This is going to be easily a generator world, and I don't think we've unlocked. Yeah, so we haven't unlocked the uh, generators yet. So we'll activate our actual rift. And the asteroid has been destroyed. So we will have everyone return home <laughs> to the safety Research of... Research complete. Okay, so we've developed the ability to call out for the um, Paragon leaders. Whether that'll actually work or not is another story. <laughs> it's so random that I, I really don't have it happen a lot. So to get a Paragon Situation leader is updated. a special moment in one of my playthroughs. So Hecka. What kind of planet is this anyway? Um... Okay. I'm trying to think of what we want to do with this one. Probably make this one into an industrial world. So we'll do a mixture of generators and, and industry on this one. So HECA will be generators and industry. What are we doing here with our forges? So we've got our specialist opportunities, but we've got workers. So we haven't promoted our workers yet. And then here we've got our, do we have anybody that's not working? Nope, all our leaders are gainfully employed. And let's see, how's our fleet doing? Let's upgrade. So doesn't look like much is being done to our fleet. So I was kind of hoping that we'd have some 
serious firepower at this point for our corvettes but we have been we have been really lacking on the uh on the technology that's come up as opportunities to research. <laughs> so. Oh, and there's another continental world. So hopefully our science ship will. Ah, and it, it saw it. So it's going over there. So we're going to get that one too. So we'll have a nice collection of continental worlds to get us started. So who's getting an upgrade? The Minister of State. Um... Yeah, let's go with trade focus. Boost our trade value. Religious dogma has been the source of much evil, Cedic. We wish you would reconsider your irrational spiritualism. Um, we're not dealing with the mushrooms. We are disposing of them. We're going to eat them. Because if you leave the mushrooms alone, then they cause people to go crazy. and It's just not fun. Still waiting on some pops to be delivered or to be grown there. Uh, we got one researcher here, so that's cool. So we've got some specialists moving in. Not sure if they're moving in from other worlds or if they're actually the um, pops that were grown locally. Yeah, so what do we got? Okay, we got a nice generator world there. So we'll take that one too. Research complete. Research is complete on ceramic metal. Uh, let's go with afterburners. Fusion reactors, four months away, so we'll have that. Shouldn't be long for that to finish its surveying. Yeah, Hecka. Research complete. Yeah, so that's going to be an industrial world as well. Fusion reactor, so let's go with improved reactor booster, because that'll improve the equipment that's already on our uh, Corvettes. So the mother brain, Tiaki stands upright. form encountered Aww. yeah so uh, the a malfunction in our equipment uh, actually killed the mother Tiaki so that um, that project is done we move on Just in time that Hecka is done colonizing, we're going to have another star system or another planet to colonize. What is this? Oh, more Tinyaki. <laughs> Just hanging out. Research complete. Okay, so. Let's go with ocean ecology because we need to research how to clear out kelp sure why we need to research that I mean don't you just like crawl in the ocean and cut them but you know this is still ours and it's weird at times all right so we're about to so it's a 75 what's going on here low gravity um, so a little bit of a happiness penalty but that's okay it's not much it's only five percent shouldn't be enough to really cause us any issues Right. So let's colonize this world as well. Elthir. Elthir, the generator homeworld. All right, we finally got one person, one pop. <laughs> I say person, it's one pop that's uh, producing. And once we create the um, uh, energy grid, once we research that, uh, we'll go in and be able to build that. 
on these generator wells. Heck, it's almost done. New frontier is established. Excellent. So, this is going to be... Whoops, didn't mean to do that. It's going to be a factory world. And it's going to have some generators. So that'll put workers and specialists. So we'll have opportunities for both classes um, to have jobs. Man, we just landed. We got 1% pop crime. Come on. That's the thing. We're deviants. We Cebic are deviants. <laughs> All right. Vast canyons filled with mushrooms. Mushrooms in this game are dangerous. They are always something that causes trouble. Let's go with uh, stability. We haven't built any soldier jobs yet. That will be our next planet that has significant um, city districts. So we'll build um, strongholds. agenda ready so we're still one pop away from needing to do something else on the home world um, I don't wanna... well, let's go with a higher purpose I was kind of hoping that we'd see opportunity to boost our specialist pop output but I haven't seen that one come back what do we got here oh relic world That might prove interesting. An ancient cache of resources. Ooh. All right. So research complete. Heka is about to be colonized, and ah, here we go. Disruptors. And yes, I know it might take. It says seventy-five months. Hopefully, it'll it'll go down as we complete. Whoa, fungal sea. The uh, fungus, the fungus among us, it's not friendly. So <laughs> we gotta make sure that we get rid of those those mushrooms. Uh, first warden, go with private mines, and then we've got scientist who is survey. That's our surveyor. So let's go with explorer. All right. Wow, that's another... Well, see, it's got... It, the areas for generators are all ruined. But it's got 14 slots. Building a new home. So we may colonize that one and start out as a, um, a fortress world. And then we can add generators um, as we go. Oh, we're out of uh, employment already? Really? Okay. Let's add another generator district to this one. So we got five pops for Floyd. Oh. So the overrun bunker. Yeah, the mushrooms are dangerous. Don't eat the mushrooms. Our head of research. Um, Archaeology skill. Let's go with that. Research complete. Oh, good grief. So... Hmm, let's go with our fleet command boost at this point. Nope. Not interested. That's just the Tanyaki hanging out up there. What are we doing with our friends over here? Improving our relations. Doesn't look like anything's going bad. They just keep shaking and telling us that we need to turn from our evil spiritual ways.
Uh oh, what happened? Oh, okay, so we had a our Minister of Defense got elected. Let's see here. Yeah, let's hire this guy. Um, oh, I need to check our. So he's got fertility preacher. Yeah, let's go with pop growth speed. Oh, he's still in private mines. Nice. Wow, he's got some good skills just to get it, getting us started. Um, all right, so we're at three scientists, three officials, one commander. Are we missing? Do we have any opportunities for... Yeah, so let's let you govern there. And we'll put you governor there. Okay. So everyone. Research complete. Everyone's happily employed. Okay, unlock the coil gun. And actually, I'm gonna take a moment and change this. My leaders. Yeah, let's put the leaders in the town. That makes it easier. Even though Stellaris is heavily on the mouse input, it's got a lot of a lot of keyboard shortcuts. Especially like when you pull up this, each one of these windows, the bottom tabs start at Z, and that's X, and that's C. So it just kind of goes along the bottom of the keyboard, which is really nice. Wow, what is taking so long over here? All right. Well, looks like we're gonna be stretching out to the edge of, or the tip of the galaxy here. So our colonists on Hecka have made a startling discovery. Deep in a remote mountain range has stumbled across a mysterious structure. Um, it wasn't there when we first surveyed the planet. Uh-oh. Um, the architecture shows alien characteristics, curves and angles that appear unusual. And it enters, there's a sign in our language. <laughs> Welcome to the magnificent labyrinth of exotic trans-dimensional anomalies. Enter at your own risk. Um, um, yeah, let's go inside. I have a feeling we're going to regret this, but I don't think I've ever done the mysterious labyrinth. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's go in and check it out. And we're going to colonize the relic world of Wua, of Wua 5. New frontier is established. Actually, the researchers, nothing was heard. They reemerged. The researchers claim they have no memory of their stay. Um, okay. So, let's see here. We need, yeah, so we need a city district. Because we're going to build um, luxury locations. The fungus is still evil. Fungus Among Us is still evil. All right, so we're going to build a generator district, and we're going to build luxury residences for our pops so that people have a place to live. And this is going to be a where is it? generator world. That's right. So you can never have too much power. And heck out. We can afford one more starbase, so we'll make Hecka our next starbase. Okay, Limza, close to having a new city district. And when it's done, we'll stick luxury residences in there. Okay, continued perplexity. The uh, further expeditions in the labyrinth yield varying, at times unnerving results. One occasion, researchers were there for mere seconds, could give no answers why they turned back quickly. Another, they were gone for weeks, came back younger than they had left, and with year-long gaps in their memory. Um, some groups returned to better physical state, others with fresh scars, serious injuries. Um, sign has changed. Enter at your own risk became danger of death and finally, warning, warning, do not enter the labyrinth. If you do, the planet will explode. 
In a macabre touch, uh, the Cebic desiccated stumps adorn the walls of the... Ooh. Um, let's not. Like, wait. So, I don't want the planet to explode. Just saying. Because heck is a good planet. It is a lot of industrial districts. I don't want it to explode. Oh. What can we tear down? Can we tear down some more of these uh, features? Guess not. All right. Well, we're going to have to wait and see what happens on the surface of Hecka as our scientists are exploring, trying to discover what strange things lie within the labyrinth. <laughs> we'll find out next time on, uh, yeah, because I honestly don't remember doing this uh, particular event chain. We'll have to find out what happens next. So, hey, everybody, thanks for sticking with me. If you like this content, uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment, say hey, share this with your friend, grandma, whatever. And um, we'll see you next time on the next episode when we continue to spread across the galaxy. I'm Commander Exorcist. Take care, fly safe, and I will see you out there. Good night, everybody.